won't be wrong to call the Galaxy Note 9 a mix of Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy S9 Plus, which is interesting to see considering Samsung could very well bring these two lines together someday. And maybe it starts with the Galaxy Note 9, a refined Note smartphone that packs all the goodies of the Galaxy S9 Plus and makes space for an S Pen. At 68,000 rupees, the price hasn't changed compared to previous Note phone, but what all has and will all that make it the best Samsung phone ever? Let's find out in this video. If you think the Galaxy Note 9 looks absolutely like the Galaxy Note 8, you won't be wrong. The phone has a large, squarish frame, a tall infinity display with curved edges and Gorilla Gloss 5 on the front and that serious feel. Looking closer, you do notice some subtle changes here and there. The display, after all, is bigger, which means Samsung has reduced the bezels on the top and bottom ever so slightly to maintain the old footprint. On the back, the Galaxy Note 9 once again brings a familiar dual camera setup. Fingerprint sensor is now placed below the cameras and this does make it easier to reach it and prevents unnecessary camera lens smudging as well. The frame is solid aluminum and on the bottom, you'll find a speaker grill, 3.5mm headphone jack, USB Type-C port and the S Pen dock. The earpiece also doubles up as a speaker so you get a stereo sound effect tuned by AKG which gets pretty loud and is quite clear as well. Ergonomically, the curves on the front and the back in a squarish frame make the phone easier to hold. And that is surprising for a 6.4 inch device that weighs over 200 grams. It houses a big battery too, but Note 9 is one heavy phone and that alone may push you to select the Galaxy S9 Plus instead. Although the weight on Note 9 is finely balanced, it is still a heavy phone at the end of the day. Of course, the front is really all about that amazing quad HD display that gorgeously curves on either sides. Samsung truly makes some of the best display panels on earth and like past flagship phones, the Galaxy Note 9 does not disappoint. Colors on the screen look bright and deep, especially the reds and blues, and you will have to expect a fair bit of oversaturation. Brightness levels are great as well, and so are the viewing angles. The display's balance and contrast are on point, backed by a pretty loud and clear stereo sound. The experience is quite immersive. Now, I do not miss the fact that the phone does not sport a notch. The Galaxy Note 9 is among a few phones now that offer a traditional symmetrical design. The Note 9 runs Android Oreo out of the box, which is a bit of a bummer considering the Android 9 Pie is out now, but I won't say I'm surprised. Though the performance on the phone is still unrivaled. Apps open in blink of an eye, the slight app animations might bother some. Even with a lot of apps running in the background, the app switching is smooth and quick. If you've used a Samsung phone before, you would know it comes with its fair share of third-party apps and Samsung-specific features. Most of them cannot be removed from the phone. The S Pen on the Galaxy Note 9 can work as a remote. With long press, it can launch any app. Inside the app, double and single click on the S Pen can be set to do stuff. The list is limited right now and there is no option to manually add apps. Anyways, press and hold for launching the camera app, single press to click a photo, double press to switch camera, and single press again to take a selfie. In gallery, single press to see next photo, double press to see the previous one. While watching videos, single press to pause, double press for next. These are the few things the S Pen can do. All these features work only when the S Pen is connected to the phone. And once you turn it off, you need to put back the S Pen inside the phone to connect it again. Rest of the S Pen features are the same, like writing memos, writing on screenshots, capturing a portion of the screen and saving it off, translating text on photos or writing when you don't feel like typing. Other features of the phone are the same. Gaming on Note 9 is quite a delight and it is unlike any other Android phone thanks to the Quad HD display, liquid cooling, the amazing audio and blazing speed. Heaviest of games run without lag. After 20 to 25 minutes of playtime, the device starts to heat up but remains under 40 degrees, which I think is because of the water cooling system kicking in. The cooling system doesn't seem to dramatically cool off the phone, but it should help preserve some battery life by keeping the temperature a few notches lower. Samsung sounds more confident about its batteries this time, as the Galaxy Note 9 gets a bigger battery. In fact, it is one of the biggest batteries a Samsung flagship have got since a long time. The 4000 mAh battery on the phone will last you a full day, and maybe a little more depending on your usage. In my similar usage, the Galaxy Note 8 
would struggle to make it to the end of the day. But Note 9 surely can, and that is a very practical upgrade to the phone. Cameras on Galaxy Note 9 are same as the S9 Plus. The dual 12 megapixel setup captures some of the best looking photos possible from a mobile phone. Stills in bright light look vivid and sharp with no noticeable noise. The camera is quick to focus on a subject and shutter speed is fast, making sure you get blur free shots most of the times. Samsung has focused a little more on AI this time around, so the cameras can now detect certain scenes and objects and will adjust the settings accordingly to give you the best shot. Low light photography continues to be best thanks to variable aperture. The f1.5 aperture opens to let in crazy amount of light even in dead of night. You will see things through viewfinder that your eyes can't tell but they also barely show any significant noise. So is Galaxy Note 9 worth a buy? The Note 9 is everything you would expect from a Note device and then some more. It's almost the perfect smartphone to buy right now if you are ready to spend that much money on a smartphone and also kind of feels more value for money than the iPhone 10. But the question is whether it makes sense for you. Despite everything the Galaxy Note 9 has to offer, it may not appeal to everyone. For one thing, the big 6.4 inch displays have now become a common thing thanks to the notch design. But the point is, these phones are also getting more compact while the Galaxy Note 9 stays big and heavy, which does not make it the easiest phone to handle for people with small hands. Do let us know what you think about the Galaxy Note 9 in the comment section below. Also, if you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get latest videos delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you for watching.